a wild gray wolf has set foot in California for the first time in 88 years. So this is the collar, the same type of collar um, that OR7 is wearing. What these collars do is they store information so we can see over the last, say, 24 hours or 48 hours where this animal has been. When wolves moved into Oregon, they moved onto a different landscape, socially, uh, ecologically, and politically as well. We as cattlemen didn't want them here at all to begin with. When we have wolves that are chronic depredators of livestock, I firmly believe that we need to take lethal action on that particular bunch of wolves. When you go out into the wild, you need to be prepared for anything and to be following the tracks of this particular wolf as close as we can, the landscape suddenly became alive in a completely different way. Holy smoke! Unbelievable. Are you serious? My first wolf tracks. I know that I saw a wolf go through here. I'm sure, that's when, in fact, we heard him, we could hear him out here. Probably him, Alan, out over here. There's a whole art of dealing with wolves that's lost completely because ever since they went on the eradication program, they killed them all. There's been the same journey for wolves that native people have undergone in the persecution, the extirpation, and the demonizing. It puts us in a kind of an awkward place to where we become the villains. Not all wildlife get a second chance, so I think it's really important that we, we get it right this time. What we are experiencing is a society coming to terms with what does it mean to live again with an animal that we feared and misunderstood so much that we tried to wipe it from the face of the earth. <laughs>